Welcome to a very brief get you started in letter logic. Uh, this is the first uh, first tutorial uh, for CodeSys. I'll be working through the uh, structured text uh, instruction list, sequential function chart, and function block as uh, separate little uh, little videos. But uh, we'll start with the very very simple uh, first project. So we need a new project. So we'll go with a standard project. I'm going to call this one uh, test letter and off we go. So when you create a, uh, a first project it's going to ask you for the type of uh, language you want so make sure you pick uh, the one you want here. Uh, I'm going to be simulating this locally in the code so I'm after the, the code sys win3 smart software solution there. So we're just using the, um, the test software from CodeSys, so we don't have any I.O. per se to add in, but uh, if you uh, dig into the CodeSys uh, from uh, some of the other manufacturers when they've uh, delivered it, you'll, uh, you'll note that you can just configure up uh, the software to use the internal variables as defined. So very, very similar to how we're just going to generate a variable here. So as per IEC 61131, we've got our PLC program file up here. Now you'll also note down here under the main task, it's referenced so that it's being run. This is, uh, if anyone's ever used jumps files in the old uh, Alan Bradley days, then this is the equivalent down here under the main task. This is telling us that this program organizational unit up here, PLC program in ladder, is down here for being run. So I'm after a couple of simple things here. So there's a couple of ways you can get a variable. You can type them in at the top, or we can, uh, we can insert insert ourselves a contact here and we can type in the box here. I'm just going to go for uh, switch one here. Hit enter and it's going to say oh, what do you want? So here it is. I'm just going to have a switch as a boolean. Now I just want a coil so we're going to insert a coil here and we're going to call this lamp one. Lamp one. Thank you and again comes up with a boolean. It's a whole raft of things but note up here we have our variables. So they've been created for us. So this is about as simple a ladder rung as you can get. Now one of the nice things about CodeSys is uh, it allows us to do visualization straight in here. So up here in application if we right click uh, and add an object then we can get ourselves a new visualization. This is like a, a graphical interface that we can uh, use inside here. If you're doing an HMI type uh, program then that's compatible with code system this is where you build the uh, the GUI that gets downloaded into the HMI so you can do all sorts of bits and pieces with it but it's connected internally to these variables so we've got a visualization screen so I'm going to go and grab the, the standard lamps and switches and things and uh, hook them up so I've got a lamp so we're going to drop a lamp in here Make sure I've got it. Here we go. We'll have a lamp. Now you'll notice that uh, it's we've got the toolbox, which gives us the information, and we can go over to the properties here. So if we go to the properties, we need to hook that lamp up to a variable. If you double click on the box, then it gives us a, uh, a picker. So here, you note, we've got to find the specific local variable. Because it's defined in, uh, in the actual code, uh, it's down in the PLC program, it's under LAMP. So there's local to this program only. So they're only accessible by this program because we haven't uh, defined anything globally yet. So all the ones I'm going to do uh, in this tutorial, all the variables are local. Haven't done any uh, information sharing. So we'll hook that up to the LAMP and we'll just leave it as it is. So back down here, pick a toolbox and I'm going to take a dip switch and stick it in here. So we'll just grab a switch and a lamp. So this allows us to easily test this in simulation. So we'll grab a variable. So we're in the same place. So we want that switch that we've just made in our code. So there we are. So one of the things you can do in here, which uh, can make it much easier to see, if you right click up in the tab bar, then you can say new vertical tab, which is going to allow us to look at the visualization and also look at our code over here, uh, depending on uh, on options so we can make this auto hide give ourselves a bit of space so there we are now to make this run uh, first of all we can build to prove that our code works so that's come up and that's quite happy so hasn't thrown us any errors 
So we can see down here the uh, messages. If we click that, there it is. So there we go. It's on auto hide. Easy. So it's all good. So if we want to simulate this online down here, we need to select simulation. Need to make sure that's checked. Okay, there it is. And then if we say log in, it's going to uh, download this into the the simulating uh, software on site inside this uh, computer here. So yes, we want to simulate it. So does all of its uh, internal code generation, gets it uh, gets it ready, gets the visualization ready. Okay, we've got four messages saying that uh, things are all good, I suspect. And you'll see it comes up generally as stopped, and we're in simulation mode. So in order to get this to run, we have to start it. So there we have a start. So if we uh, move this across a bit so we can see what's going on, you'll see that the blue indicates here that uh, this this uh, side of the the ladder is active up here prepared value so if we click in here okay we can choose what it's going to be when we change the values so we want this uh, switch to change to true now up here in debug you'll see write values so you choose the value you want written so you can choose it for multiple inputs at the same time and then we write the values and we get a change now remember, we uh, set ourselves a visualization. Now if we click on the switch, uh, it does the same thing for us. It inter interacts directly with our running code in the visualization. This is a very useful way to be able to you know, hook up uh, switches and lamps so that you can see uh, exactly what your code's doing by uh, interacting with it inside the simulation. So there we go. That's a very simple bit of uh, getting some ladder in here. Uh, so we're now going to uh, take this offline, so we'll log out and, uh, and I'm going to save it and I'll be back with a structured text.